So I'm going to cover today uh, where I believe silver or the SLV is going to start to find really good strong support here. We're starting to get a strong sell off here. Where I believe we're likely to find some strong support. We're going to also talk about gold as well too. What's happening with gold and some key levels I'm focusing on. And also the actual stock market as well about what's actually going on. So let's get straight into it guys. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's actually start off with the good old gold and silver market. Then I'll get into the stock market as well too. So uh let's have a look at this here so the first thing i'm noticing here when it comes to the gold market is we are in a really 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 strong market from this is the gold price let's go to the gld and if i bring on the geo this is the gld if i zoom right out you can see we have this significant trend line here and these trend lines do actually start to become quite strong levels of support so if we ever did get a bit of a short-term flush down out of here this would be a screaming buy screaming buy for what's going on with the markets right now right and so um we can see that like, this level three here so this support level through here support level through here so if the market's going market's going sideways if we do get a drop to the downside we're probably going to find a lot of support through here and then a bounce to the upside i'm not saying that's going to happen because we we could just be finding a bit of support here right now on the GLD before we go for another run so they're the key levels i'm really focusing on do we come down if we do get a bit of a flush down it's probably only going to be very very short-lived before we start to see uh, a very, very, very nice move to the upside when it comes to the um, the gold market for me. Now let's go look at the silver. And the silver market right now is still pushing to the downside, but I believe this is gonna be an amazing buying opportunity for silver as we're pushing to the downside through here. Um, if we zoom right out, you can see that this whole $24 level through here is like three major levels of support that's coming to it that could start to see this thing have a really, really strong bounce um, out of this level from here. So we're coming down through to here. This could be a really, really, really strong bounce of what I'm actually seeing here. And if we have a look at the weekly charts, all that simply means is that the weekly charts moving average is still trending to the upside. So we're getting this nice pullback through here and you can see like this whole 24 to 23 is a strong levels of support. And then we also can see that we also have this level of this low here to this high point up here. And then guess what? And then now we're actually getting this point with this, this level here of, of what's going on there. Well, so I do believe we're in the mix guys maybe another another few more weeks maybe of just this sort of what's called shake and bake which means not really much going on but i believe this this august is a bit of a stage for really big moves to come and this is even in the actual stock market itself as well too if i look at the dow jones if the dow jones did make a move to the downside i honestly believe it's going to be a strong there's going to be a real real, real strong bounce here either way guys like to me i I see that happening, um, you know, with the actual Dow Jones, meaning like I, I just see, I just see up overall. We get a short term sh flush to the downside. I don't see that happening, and the reason why is because if I look at the fear and greed index, we're at extreme fear, and whenever this happens, right, it's only one thing. It's actually the stock, the stock price strength. If the stock price strength wasn't at greed, this thing would be pinging, pinging like down through here, right? So right now we are we are basically at the the most most fearful in the markets than um, compared to back here of what we actually saw back here in 2023. As you know, there's a lot of a fears of recession and and all that sort of stuff, right? We saw this back here. So this this is where we've actually gotten where, where we're getting a lot of fear right now. So that tells me, mm, guys. I see a, a, a big bounce. The big bounce is coming. I really see a big bounce. Um, and uh, I really see a big bounce coming because we're at this level here, right? And we know this whole fear and greed index just gives you an, uh, it gives you the opposite of what's happening. And so when looking at this market, this Dow Jones, we also look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is actually at a level of support. I see a big bounce coming. Now with the NASDAQ 100, for me personally, I really like, if we can start to get above this, this trend line coming down through here if we can get the bounce we actually did come down to this level as you can see look at this here came down came look where it actually look where exactly where it stopped isn't that fascinating guys 
Look at this here. So this support level here that was actually started back in start of 23, at the end of, uh, towards the end of 23 last year, we made this major level through here. Look where it came down to, found there and found support. So is the correction over? I believe we're getting very, very close towards the correction being over. And I honestly believe that the big bounce is coming. The big bounce, right? Um, and so we can see through here when it comes to this level through here, right? So we have this big drop to the downside and then we have this movement through here. So um, one of the big things, traders, is that uh, one of the things that I was utilizing when it comes to my, uh, I, was, I was actually talking with my clients today, my private traders, because I've got a real small group every day that, that are with me every day, and I show them what, what's going on with the markets and different trades I'm in and you know different things that's happening in the markets and, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm with them every single day. Um, if you would like to join that group, then you can actually apply for it. Uh, then there's that's that first thing in the description or go to getjohnshelp.com. You can actually fill out the application form and I will personally call you to have a good chat with you. Now, here's what's gonna happen. On that very first phone call we have, guys, if you're interested in becoming a coaching client of mine, meaning you wanna join my small group, firstly, our very first call, there's actually nothing for sale on the phone, on, on that first call. There's actually no sales pressure. That whole job is just us to just to get to know each other a bit more, me to find out what's going on with you and what mistakes you're making and where you wanna go. And that's that's going to be an hour long call for us, right? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go deep into it in, into what's going on here. So that first call, there's actually no no sales thing at all, right? So if you want if, if you're interested, um, then the first call may be good for you. And then if I believe that I if if I know that my coaching can really help you achieve your goals and your outcome and where you want to go in life in these markets, then maybe we'll do a second call where I can talk to you more about that. Make sense? So if you're on the sidelines about my coaching and you're not sure and you just wanna see what it's all about, you know, why not, why not book a call? You actually speak with me, not a whole team. Um, you'll be personally speaking with me. And uh, and again, on that first phone call, there will be no, I won't be offering you anything. And the reason why is because I've only got a few spots left to my coaching before I close it down for, um, for 2025. Um, and because it's a 12 month coaching program, um, and so therefore I have a lot of people that I speak to all the time. And so therefore I speak to everyone and then I figure out who I believe I can help the best because I want to want to know that I actually can help you. And then I select a couple of people and then I offer them the coaching program. That's the way it works, right? So if you want to be part of that list and part of that dialogue, then go to getjohnshelp.com and you can actually apply for that coaching there. And I know I can help you. Anyway, so I was personally speaking with the, with the, with the, with, with my traders today and I was telling them about how we just need to trust the charts, right? That's that's the big thing that was coming through my mind was trust the charts, trust the charts. Whatever the charts are doing, just trust the chart. Not, and it's and some I don't I, I don't know why that came up with me, guys, but I we need to trust the chart. And what does that mean? Right now we're in a bit of a down move through here, but we also do know that even from say the S and P five hundred perspective, right? What's happening? We have this level through here, and then we also have this level through here. What do we, what's, the, what's this mean? We need to what? We need to trust the chart, and what does that mean? That means if we do start to get the bounce from here, then we're probably likely to see a really nice movement to the upside. In the S&P 500, as you can see, that we have this, actually, there's two levels through here, as you can see, right? This level from here, and I, could, and I, and I pick up that level from there to there, this, this point through here, this point through here. So there's actually a bit of a channel here. So let's actually trust the chart. Well, okay, let's trust the chart and whatever the charts are telling us, let's actually, let's trust that. And whenever we do, guys, right, we make much better decisions, right? Because we know, you know yourself, you've been down the road where if you're trying to, if you're trying to trade off, off headlines, it's, that's not a good idea because the headline may not even be true, right? Uh, if you're trying to trade off, say, a fundamental, like they're raising interest rates, so therefore it's going to crush the economy. How, how did that work out for you? The stock market went through a massive boom, right? Um, you know, all this sort of stuff, right? So we can go down this path of that. So, but whatever the market's giving us, whatever the market's doing right now, we just need to make sure we're trusting that. Uh, but I truly believe, guys, that the big bounce is coming from this level, because if I'm just looking at this weekly chart here, um, I'm still seeing that these lows, low, significant high low, and I do believe we're gonna get another significant high low. This is just a nice healthy correction in the markets. So the big bounce is truly coming, is, is what I truly believe 
uh, from there. Also, traders, one thing I want to share with you is uh, a book that I recommend for you guys that are interested in. Um, one of the one of the hard things for me, guys, well, I was telling my, I was talking to my coaching clients today, is that when you start to achieve some level of success, you know, some level of financial, you know, abundance in your life, you start to realize that there's more to life than just. This, this, this starts to become more to life, right? And and it's, it's such a hard thing. It's one of the reasons why I teach, where I actually have a coaching program because it gives me purpose, right? Making a million dollars a year from trading, yeah, while while you while you can do that, what's what's on the other end of that? So you can do what? What, sit on the beach for the rest of your life and do nothing? How boring does that sound, right? So you can just sit down on the lounge all day and watch Netflix and do that for the rest of your life? How boring does that sound? And so one of the hardest things that, one of the things that I'm always trying to have a dialogue with myself is while I'm trading the stock market and I'm doing well from it and I'm making good decisions from here, I'm always trying to make sure that I'm neutralizing my journey of as I continue to chase more of what, I, what I'm doing, I wanna make sure that I'm continually to, um, to make sure that I'm, I'm making sure that I'm taking care of my soul, right? Um, that I've got, I've got a very big, strong connection with God. Um, I'm a very big believer in God. I'm a very big believer in the universe. I'm a very big believer in energy. I'm a very big believer in the things that we cannot see. Um, and I'm also a very, very, very big understanding of as I continue to chase my goals. That once I get to the goals, it's not, you know, it's not going to be what I think it is, right? Like the Olympics are on right now. We we've all heard the stories, right? If you haven't, go check out some Netflix stuff there. What is the stories? They worked so hard for four years. They worked their tail off for four years, probably a lot longer than that, to go to the go to the Olympics to win gold. When they win gold, what ends up happening afterwards? They go into depression. So there's something, something's not right there, right? Something is not right there. We see this so much with people. We see this so much with people that we chase fulfillment and, and cars and all this stuff. But then when you get it, you're like, you you and it's such a weird thing, right? If you think about that, like if you think about a person who wins the Olympics and the person who wins the Olympics, guess what? They push, they strive, they fight with their partners, they have lows, they don't sleep, they worry, they stress, they're pushing every day. But the end result is for them, the end result is them being depressed. So you're pushing and struggling and fighting to get to depression. Now I know that's. Do you know, see what I'm saying here? So anyway, so the so the book. The reason why I'm saying that is because one of the books that I've been rereading, I saw with my coaching clients today, um, is called the the Rhythm of Life Every Day, uh, the Rhythm of Life, um, which is this. Yeah, where is this one? Where are we? This one here, right? So the, this one here, the Rhythm of Life. The Rhythm of Life by Matthew Kelly. Um, I want to help you guys with this one here, right? Because um, as uh, one of the things that I'm always, I'm always really, really fascinated about, guys, is this fulfillment side as well too. So I wanted to finish off today's market update, guys, with you guys, you know, because I remember for me personally, like there was a time there where I had, where I lost everything. I went through a divorce and I didn't have much to my name, and I was living in a share accommodation place, and I only had an old TV. I had computer. And I had a mattress on the floor and I had not much money to my name and I had to try to figure out how to get myself back out of it. And obviously, thank thank God I'm, I became good at trading because I did do that. Um, and then I figured how to get myself out of that out of that mess from there. So anyway, traders, um, try to try to think about like the, the reality of your direction in life, right? Where are you going? What 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 is what is that end goal for you? Is it like what is that end goal? Now Picture that end goal and look at the reality of that situation, that end goal that you're trying to chase. Because unfortunately for me personally, even that we try to, we chase this end goal because we think it's going to feel something. We're going to have, you know, we're going to, we're going to feel something, right? We're going to feel free. We're going to feel happy or whatever, right? Because we're looking for that feeling. The big thing, right? The big thing about that is, is that, what we think and the reality of the situation is nowhere near each other, right? I want to make a million dollars from trading the stock market. Okay. Oh, I want to make six figures trading the stock market this year. Okay. And you do that. And you're like, 
guess what you do? Okay, now I want to make 200000 Now I want to make half a million. Now I want to make a million, right? I want to have a $20,000 savings account. And you do that. Then I want to have fifty, dollars And then I want to have $100,000. And it's like, so, so, I want to make a million. I'll have a million dollars. It's like, when, when does that stop, right? When does that stop? Right, because I, you, you end up on this very, very vicious hamster wheel trying to chase this feeling. And while I consume, while I continue to do what I do and I love what I do, it's one of the reasons why I teach because it gives me purpose, right? It gives me like, there's more to life, right, out there. Um, and so, and while I continue to, even myself, to become a much better trader as well too every single day, I'm continually to try to make sure I strive to understanding that the end goal is not the end goal. And I, and I just recently thought about that saying, the end goal is not the end goal. And what that means is that the end goal of making six figures a year is not the end goal. The end goal of making six figures in one trade is not the end goal. Because if you go back on what I just said there, if we think that we're going to feel so happy and elated and excited once we get the end goal, I want to neutralize your journey. I'm not saying you don't. Like for me, guys, I strive to make more money. I strive to make a difference. I strive to do better in my life, right? In the way that I coach people and help people and so on and so forth. But I also do realize, or no but. And I also do realize by understanding the journeys of people that have gone ahead of me, Sylvester Stallone, right? Successful people, successful traders. You start to realize people that are billionaires have got these big, massive companies. And you see that there's this fulfillment lacking, right? Where is the fulfillment side of this stuff? Because it's more and more and more and more and more. Like more, why? And so one thing I, I honestly believe is that by bringing myself, even myself, to the reality of the situation that is happening in our lives, if we can take care of the fulfillment side a lot more every day. And I honestly believe this is where if you look at Ray Dalio, what does he say? The most important thing is meditation. Why? Why? There's something to that there, right? Because with that meditation brings you what? Peace. It brings you a level of, brings you a moment of peace in your life. What does that, what does that moment of peace in your life bring you? Contentment, fulfillment, you know, it's, um, uh, yeah, contentment, fulfillment, satisfaction, clarity, calmness within that moment of life. Guess what happens in that moment of life? You see things differently. You understand things differently. You make better decisions. And within that, you actually come back to your stuff, your trading and so on and so forth. You actually make better decisions and you actually move forward faster. So you actually make more money. You make better decisions. You're on the path and so on and so forth. So one thing that I did wrong for so many years was I was always chasing the strategy and the mindset, the strategy and the techniques and so on and so forth. But then I didn't realize that the state that I was in bringing to the market, and you guys know yourself, if you've gone through a divorce, you've gone through some really challenging times financially, and you go to the market with that state in mind or that state and go into the markets, guess what happens? We make bad decisions, right? Because we're not in the right emotional you know, mind frame and state there. And this is where like for me personally, guys, I'm always trying to do things like reading the rhythm of life or rereading it. I've owned it for a while now. All right. Is because it brings the context of what is going to bring true level of fulfillment. And it makes me think about lives about, okay, here's that billionaire over there has it all. Does he really? Does he really? Right? That person over there that made seven figures trading the stock market this year, he has it all. Or this guy that, that shows a Lamborghini and, and houses and all this sort of stuff. Does he have it all? Like, really? Does he have it all? Let's actually look at this here. And I wanted to finish this market update for you because it's something that I've just been thinking about more and more and more as in my life. It's like, does he have it all? Because 
the, the, there's this uh, there's this ironic thing that's happening in our life, right? It's like, what are we chasing? And what is the reality of that thing we're chasing? Like, that we, if we get that goal, right? What is the reality of that? You see someone that's ripped with six-pack abs is really lean. Oh my goodness, he's chiseled his lean. What's the reality of that situation? Now, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying don't try to become lean, don't try to look good, right? Because you can look good. But if you're trying to look absolutely pilled by these people in magazines and, and photo shoots and stuff, do you realize what they actually feel? They feel horrible. They feel terrible. There's no energy. They can't get, they can't get up through that today. You know what I mean? It's like they're exhausted. They're tired because there's such low body fat to become so ripped that is that what you want to is that what you want to feel? Yeah, it may look good, but what's the reality of that situation? So for me, guys, what is that? What am I doing here, guys? I'm doing this market update for you, and hopefully, hopefully, this sort of gives you some context of that. While you continue to chase and pursue these goals, I want to make sure that the reality of that goal for you is the reality of that goal for you. And what it actually means, what, what you're going to feel, what is going to happen when you get to that goal, right? And then from that, you can make sure that you can neutralize your journey so once you do achieve that goal, you're not disappointed. You haven't spent four years chasing a gold medal, working your ass off, struggling, possibly going through divorces and breakups and not spending time with friends and family and all this sort of stuff. To the what? To get gold? For what? So you can de- so you then can become depressed because the very next day you're like, now what? What's next? Right? So I wanted to finish this update for you guys because I really wanted to I really want to make sure that if you're chasing this money from the stock market, from trading, like chasing, 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 chasing. I want to make sure you bring it back to this level of like, how do we take care of the fulfillment side as well too, right? The fulfillment side of this life is such a big thing. And if we can take care of that as Ray Dalio, the biggest, most successful hedge fund man on the planet, right? What does he say? He says what? He says meditation is the number one thing. If we start to take care of, and I honestly believe guys, it's a double-edged sword, right? Meaning, um, a double-edged positive sword. If you take care of the fulfillment side, like meditation, like Ray Dalio says, and we can neutralize our journey and try to bring a level of peace, level of contentment, level of happiness into our lives, like meditation does bring. And meditation doesn't have to be like, you know, meditation could just be like you're sitting in the sun for 20 minutes or half an hour, you know, and just having no music and just letting your brain relax and just just let, just think there for a bit, right? That could be like meditation. The one thing that I found is by doing that sort of stuff, it allows me to come to my business, to my coaching, to my level of trading with a much level of calmness and clarity of thinking. And that moment allows me to make much better decisions, which actually allows me to make more money and make me help me make more progress. But without doing that stuff, which makes me fulfilled, brings me peace, like Ray Dalio says, I wouldn't be anywhere near I am today.